How many, many bum bum? How many, many bum bum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Back with another vlog, y'all. And you know what that means. Bitch gonna be shopping. But today we are gonna be thrifting. Well, not exactly. Uh, we're actually gonna be hitting up a consignment shop, two consignment shops. We're hitting up three of my favorite spots to get secondhand items today. One, we're actually gonna be crossing the border. Uh, yeah, it is in Washington State and it's called Urban Eccentric. They have really cool vintage pieces. We're also gonna be going to Second Street, uh, which is like a hype beastie consignment shop. And then we're going to end the day at Laundry, Laundry PDX, which is like a sports themed thrift store, kind of like vintage store. And I'm mainly looking for like graphic tees, um, layering pieces. I would love to find a pair of like black jeans. This is my very basic fit of the day, but it's supposed to be like 80 something degrees and I want it to be comfortable, so. That's what we're doing. I'm wearing this really salacious um, shirt. I actually had to cut it because it was way too long. Um, but depending on how you look at it, it's like, maybe I'm Christian. Maybe I'm a crackhead, who knows, I don't know. Fashion. Y'all, we gotta tighten up, stiff arm, because in Second Street, you can spend all of your money in a matter of minutes. Everything in there is like overpriced slash just like inflated as hell. And so that's why you really, 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 really gotta love the things that you buy from that store. And so, and I did get myself a budget of $200 total everywhere okay and hopefully find some pieces i did find a t-shirt um i'm gonna do a haul of everything that i bought along with try-ons um at the end of this let's go up into this expensive ass store and i really hope it's not packed either because i don't have time there is something about going to a store and there's just other people there and i know it makes no sense i am not the only person that lives in portland and there are other people especially on a sunday people are going to be out jade people are wanting to our people are going to want to be in the store, Jade. But why y'all got to be in the store when I'm in the store? It'd be that. Okay, yes, this is a pair of capris. And I had to like, because they're a little too big. But you see the vision, right? Like you see the vision. It's just the little flare at the bottom. It's little bell that it's making that I don't like. Like, found this t-shirt. Still trying to figure out if this is cultural appropriation or not. But this is Canada. Cute. And I found this weird one. Big shorts. So here's my deal with the V-Dex. Sometimes when it's too wide, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like, I don't know what it is. I just don't think it's flattering.
So I'm back in a heezy. And uh, this is one of the hats. One of the hats. It's the only hat that I got today. This is from Second Street. It just says USS New Jersey. Any show numbers. From Urban Eccentric, I got this t-shirt that says, what does it say? Just cope it, Camp Cooper. To the point. I just really like that red, like vertical design. I also really love how this t-shirt feels. This is 50-50 uh, jerseys, heavyweight. I wanna say this was like uh, proper vintage. It just feels so good. Um, that's one thing about like vintage and thrifted t-shirts that is just undefeated. That 50-50 blend and just that cotton, like not stiff, you know, kind of fabric I love. And so that's great. Also from Urban Eccentric, I got these like, it says that they're from the 90s. OMG. Did y'all hear that? Somebody's car alarm is going off. So I got these jeans from Urban Eccentric. They're, they were $34 from the 90s. Little steep, but you know. And these are like a baggier kind of straight leg, but they do have a bit of a taper on the bottom. And so the, the cut of these is very 90s. Um, and so I'm gonna pair it with that t-shirt just so y'all can see like, the vibe but I think that these are really great I don't know if these are men's it says relaxed fit with a tapered leg yeah so I don't know if these are men's or women's probably women's it says that they're a size 12 so yeah urban eccentric done I was on the fence about these pants from second street not because I didn't like them I actually really like them um, but they were $33 but whenever I'm thrifting or buying secondhand especially when it comes to stuff like this where it's like these are just like a pair of plain black pants, but the fit of them is really interesting. Um, I'll basically ask myself, would I buy these new? And if I bought them new, what would I pay for them new? And if the piece of my hand is at least half of that, then I'll buy it. So that's my kind of like rule of thumb when I'm weighing whether or not I should buy something that I feel is a bit overpriced. I like these. The fit of this is really unique. They're men's and they're from the brand Weekday which is not at all a vintage brand, um, but Second Street doesn't really carry a lot of vintage stuff. So there you go. Um, these, these are men's, they have to be, they're a size 46, and they fit me really well. They make my butt look really good. So I decided to get them. I never went to laundry because I spent $100, $104 at Second Street, and so I was like, you know what? We're already at the top of the budget. I'm just gonna go home. Uh, plus, whenever I go to laundry i i get hats anyway and so since i got this one i figured i didn't really need to go i got this graphic tee from a brand called young blood never heard of it before but i thought this t-shirt was really tight it's got this graphic on the front and i have no idea what it says oh it's the brand the brand young blood underneath and then on the back be fucking happy yeah come on bruh Come on, brat. Be fucking happy. I, this was too cool for me to pass up. This was also like $5, I think. Where's the tag? Did she took? Wow, she really cut the tag off. I'm pretty sure it was like $5 though, like five or $6. Other t-shirt, super cool. This is more of like a, what my version of a baby tee is. I'm not, because of my titty situation, I'm not gonna be wearing you know, super, super baby tees, but I will do like a slim, you know, kind of like a smaller cut. And so that's what this is. It says the Martians are coming to save the earth in big red letters in the front. And then it's got this blue Martian with a little flower on the back. I thought this was so tight and I have no idea if it's vintage or not. Doubt it. Yeah, it's printed on a beefy tee, like <laughs> a beefy um Haynes t-shirt can y'all see that yeah so most likely ew my nails most likely this was anywhere from maybe like five six dollars to ten but it's a thicker shirt 
it's really, really different. It was unique enough to justify the price for me. The t-shirts is not where the 104 came from. I'm about to get into where the 104 came from. Those pants, that the $33 pants, and these babies right here. I tried these on in the store. They're fully capris. These are fully capris, okay? Like 2000s with a sun kissed in my hand. This is that. And I was very, I wasn't on the fence about them because of the, these really. It was more so this slight little kick flare that it's doing at the bottom. You can see it more when I have them on. Um, but I thought that the length of these was really weird and perfect. I find that when you have a masculine style and you're not really one to necessarily embrace like feminine things to create like a unique masculine style, to create a unique outfit, to kind of like juxtapose your masculine uh, pieces with something else. I find that another way to diversify your looks is to just go for silhouettes that are different than what you would normally buy. Go for pants that have like different lengths that you normally wouldn't buy, um, but that still feel like comfortable to you and um, flattering for you. And so I've been looking for a pair of like really big shorts, like damn near Capri style shorts almost in a way. Um, and I haven't been able to find any. I found a couple at Second Street and I did try them on, but I wasn't like a huge, huge fan of them. And then I found these in the women's section, just this pair of capris with these details, these like pocket details, which is really nice. And then they also have pocket details on the back. Like just like these little things like this, you know? Um in addition to these darts at the bottom, which are definitely the things that are emphasizing that kick flare at the bottom. But I'm contemplating whether or not I want to have my girlfriend <laughs> like do something about that just so that it's more straight. But I thought these were a vibe, I thought they were cool. I think they're a cool transition piece from like summer to fall as well because you could definitely put these on with like a hoodie or something and rock it out that way and then i got these which are a pair of men's pants but they were in the women's section and when it comes to men's trousers baby <laughs> i'm gonna buy it this is just a regular degular pair of just plain wide leg khaki pants nothing super special about them nothing super innovative about them the only thing that i really really liked about these was one i think they were like eight dollars and two they are really light they're not linen or anything they're just like a lighter material um and they're a wide leg pair of pants that are short so they're the perfect length for me on the inside you can see the actual size 34 by 29 i would say if these were an actual 24, someone absolutely got them taken in in the waist because I'm not a 34 in men's pants. I'm a 31 in men's pants and these fit me perfectly. So somebody had to like got these taken in. And I seem to always get lucky with men's trousers. I want to say in every single vlog, every single thrift vlog, which isn't many, I think there's like maybe three or four on this channel, I find men's pants that someone got tailored that to fit me perfectly. And so this is the pair for this video. And that's it. That is it y'all for the vlog today. I think today was a successful shopping trip. I think today was a success. I wanted to find some cool graphic tees. I did that. I wanted to find some layering pieces, didn't find that. I'm so happy with everything I bought regardless. We came in under budget, okay? I was not expecting to spend $100 at Second Street, but normally when I go there, I spend $100 on two things, whereas this time I spent $100 on six. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, man. Leave a comment, bro. Uh, make a friend or something. Like these videos, because you're gonna come back. You're gonna wanna come back, all right? You're gonna wanna come back. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna come back. Wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See y'all.